Welcome, welcome, welcome. You know what time it is, kids? That's right. It's TOK time! Yay! Um, first of all, I want to say I'm really sorry I can't be with you today. To start off, a uh, brief introduction. Hi. Hi. First of all, let me say that I'm so sorry that I can't be with you today. We're still working out some contractual issues uh, with my release from Richardson and my entrance into DISD. Until then, I wanted you to know that I'm gonna have information for you so that you don't fall behind. Let me introduce myself. Uh, my name is Mix Cafiero. Um, if you're wondering what is Mix, MX, that is a non-gender specific pronoun. Uh, well, excuse me, it's a non-gender specific uh, form of address. It's like Mr. or Ms. Um, I am identify as male and have no problem with masculine pronouns and masculine address, but I do like to model acceptance and tolerance in my classroom. Uh, so feel free to use MX or uh, which is pronounced mix or Mr. Uh, Cafiero, if you can't roll that R, uh, you can call me Mr. C or Mix C or Oh Captain, My Captain, if you're feeling really daring. Uh, and you can also use he, him, they, them. I'm pretty flexible with my pronouns. And when I meet you, if you have a preferred address or pronouns that are different from what's in your school records, uh, please just let me know. Uh, I think that we need to start by respecting each other. And if we can't do that, it's going to be very difficult to talk about what we know and how we know it. I want to start really quickly with an analysis. Uh, my analysis is too formal. Let's say with a, a quick exploration. What is theory of knowledge? Uh, theory of knowledge is really tough to say over and over and over again, so you're going to hear me call it TOK almost exclusively. So I apologize if the TLA, the three-letter acronym, offends you, but get used to it. There's a lot of them in the IBO, or IB organization, or International Baccalaureate Program, the IBP, um, or the Diploma Program, which is only two, but it's sometimes called the DIP. You see where I'm going with this. We have a lot of specialized verbiage. Don't let it scare you. Theory of knowledge is a course that's core to the IB. It's essentially the heart of everything that you're going to study in all of your other courses, or that you've already studied up to this point. Theory of knowledge is a course which asks yourself, what do you know, and how do you know it? It wants you to think deeply about thinking to learn about learning, and to know about knowing. There are technical words for this. Uh, you'll, hear, you'll hear epistemology, teleology, metacognition. Those are fancy ways of saying, how do you know what you know? There are lots of possible ways to explore TOK. It is not a prescribed program with a specific curriculum. Instead, it is a way of understanding understanding. It's a series of frameworks to help you learn what you're learning and to give context and deeper meaning to your thoughts. Uh, there are two formal assessments. Uh, we'll talk about those in just a minute. Uh, those are the official IB course grades from these two assignments. Your actual report card grades will come from a, a number of assessments, including both your IB work and your internal classwork. Uh, some essays, uh, a lot of classroom participation. You will be graded for your preparation and participation in class weekly. Now, if you're a quiet person who doesn't like speaking out in class, that's going to be a little bit of a challenge because you do need to participate. But sometimes that participation can take the form of just being ready, being thoughtful, being well-read, being able to answer quick questions or to share your thoughts in, in, informally. Uh, sometimes it's going to be giving a big presentation. It's important to understand 
that I'm going to come up with many ways for you to participate and to show your preparation for class. So if you have one bad day, it's, it's not going to ruin your GPA. But if you consistently come to the class and don't contribute much, if you don't bring anything to the party, don't expect to be invited back. Uh, you do have to learn in order to learn. Now, I know that grading is a big deal. I recorded this earlier, but I just want to stress again, with all the things going on in your TOK course, in your IB diploma program, in your lives as juniors, and then eventually as seniors and graduates, the specific percentage grade you get in theory of knowledge should be very low down on your list of concerns, as long as you're meeting the requirements and you're learning the material. If those things aren't happen, we will have a discussion or a series of discussions. And if they are happening, let me do the worry. Now, some of you I'm sure are already wondering, how do you possibly grade this class? I mean, it's about what do I know about what I know? How do I know what I know? How do I measure that? How, how, is, it, how is it done? Relax. Uh, there are two sets of, of grades. Your IB course grade is determined by two assessments prescribed by the IB. Uh, the first one is the TOK oral presentation. The second is the TOK essay. The TOK essay is on a title that you will be selecting. Uh, it's 1,600 words. It is primarily responsive, not researched. So although you will do a lot of reading and a lot of thinking and some discussion to figure out what it is you think, it is not a research paper. It is not a book report. It is not, it's not your extended essay, okay? The TOK essay is an investigation of an existing question. The TOK oral presentation is your opportunity to take a real life situation and create your own knowledge question, your own way of looking through the filter of TOK at this situation and asking yourself, how do we know what we know? As for your report cards, as for your, your course grades that you'll be receiving, uh, obviously the oral presentation and essay are a substantial part uh, of your grade. And we will score those against a rubric before we submit them to the IB. So you'll know what those grades are, uh, at least as far as your report card grades go. Uh, you'll also receive weekly grades for participation and preparedness, uh, as I discussed a moment ago. And finally, there will be certain graded assignments. For example, you will be writing an essay uh, around the end of week three um, on the This I Believe format. More about that in a couple of minutes. But I want you to understand the important thing and most professors, this is true, whether they tell you or not. Do what I ask you to do, when I ask you to do it, to the very best of your ability. Give me work that you're proud of when I ask for work. And if it's not your best work, don't lie about it. Don't try and pass it off. Don't be glib. Oh, yeah, yeah, I got it. No problem. I got it. No, I haven't started it. Tell me what's going on. I can't help you if I don't know. Now, there is not a TOK textbook. There's not even a primary source book. Uh, I'm going to be getting information from some of the IB materials, from some materials created specifically for TOK. A lot of material that I've created myself, either in conjunction with my peers or through workshops with TOK students over the years. So there's going to be a lot of information, but there are two textbooks, that's two, that you are going to need to get for this class. 
One of them is our workbook. The workbook you will need next Monday. Okay? That's next Monday, the 13th? Yeah, 13th. On Monday the 13th, you must have your own copy of Green Eggs and Ham by Dr. Seuss. Seriously. No. I, I can't stress this enough. Many, many TOK students have come to my class without their, their workbook because they or their parents didn't believe that I was assigning Green Eggs and Ham. Just trust me on this one. I always have a reason for what I do, although I don't always have time to explain it to get us where we need to be when we need to get there. In this case, I'll take a second and explain. Green Eggs and Ham by Dr. Seuss. Many of you, I assume, are familiar with this, this masterwork of American literature. It is a blueprint for theory of knowledge. Green Eggs and Ham is all about what do we know? How do we know it? What challenges our belief? What confirms our belief? What's the difference between things that we believe, things that we assert, and things that we know? And finally, how do we know what we know? And what are the consequences of that knowledge? This is TOK. Plus, you'll find that the book, and hard copy or soft copy, uh, sorry, soft cover or hard cover, rather, uh, is fine. But you do need a hard copy, an actual physical book, no PDFs. Uh, I do want this to be something you would hold in your hands and carry around with you. And I will occasionally take it up to check some of your annotations. Yeah, we're going to be annotating. We're going to be creating the TOK annotated edition of Green Eggs and Ham. And the reason that this is important is it is your study guide, your reference material, and when you go to take your final exam for TOK in the fall semester of your, your senior year, Green Eggs and Ham workbook that you create in class is a resource you may use on the final. The final is an open note exam so long as the notes are in your Green Eggs and Ham workbook. The other book that you're going to need, and this one you're not going to need until, I want to say, the 20th? Uh, I don't have my calendar in front of me. And I apologize for that. You need it the Tuesday after the MLK holiday. Okay, so the week after uh, you need Green Eggs and Ham. This book, uh, it's available from Amazon as well as from many bookstores. Bookstores are these things where they sell books where you can go in and give them money or credit in exchange for goods and services. Uh, the, the, the book that you'll need is called Plato and a Platypus Walk Into a Bar, a history of... It's either a history of philosophy or an introduction to philosophy through jokes. This book is by Cathcart and Klein, and it does a fantastic job of introducing philosophy in an approachable way. We're also going to be using it as the source material for our peer teaching project. This is a project that we'll be working on starting in a few weeks uh, to start preparing you for the TOK oral presentation. Many of you have either never done an oral presentation or have never done one that was really solid and that you were really proud of and happy with. So we'll be practicing that. You're going to teach each other the history of philosophy using this textbook and something called the Peer Teach Project. That's Plato and a Platypus Walk Into a Bar by Cathcart and Klein. Uh, I will provide a link to an Amazon list where you can order this stuff, or you're certainly welcome to just go to a bookstore and say, do you have Plato and a platypus walk into a bar? And enjoy the reaction that they give you. So, I almost forgot. I almost forgot homework. Now, first of all, let me say, I'm not a huge believer in homework. In fact, there's a lot of evidence that for middle school and high school classes, traditional go home and do exercises 11 through 14, um, page blah, 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 
that that actually doesn't impact learning. Um, that there's no real difference between kids who do homework and kids who don't do homework in terms of their long-term learning of material. Having said that, this is a college prep class, and you guys know you're on a fast track. There is far more that we want you to learn than we have time to do. So this is my deal with you. I will try to make reasonable time in class for you to do the things that I need you to do. In exchange, the homework such as I give you will usually be think about X, observe Y, consider Z. Uh, and I need you to think about, to observe, to consider, to not just go, oh, there's nothing written down, so there's no homework. No, the thinking is important. This is a thinking class about thinking and a learning class about learning. And if you don't think and you don't learn, it's kind of hard for me to consider it successful. So obviously, with this week, with me not there to answer direct questions and some other obstacles to traditional learning in place, I am going to ask you to do a little bit of homework. Specifically, between now and next Monday, uh, when you have your uh, Green Eggs and Ham workbook, between now and Monday, either during class time, uh, if it permits, or outside of class if you don't get it done during class time, I need you to go to a website called thisibelieve.org. At thisibelieve.org, you'll find a number of essays, uh, both written copies and they have a podcast where you can listen to them like audiobooks. And I want you to read three of these belief essays. That's three. Between now and Monday. Uh, the first one is by Jason Howard. Um, and you can do a search for Jason Howard. And I believe it's called Touching the Divine. Uh, it's about how music is his connection to the sacred. The second essay, in pretty big contrast, is by Penn Gillette. That's P-E-N-N, Penn Gillette, G-I-L-L-E-T-T-E. Uh, you might know him as the pen half of Penn and Teller, uh, famous magicians and entertainers. Um, Penn Gillette did an essay called I Believe There Is No God. Now, both of these, I'm not trying to influence your personal beliefs. This is not instruction on what you should know. I want you to look at how these two very different individuals expressed very different ideas within the format of the This I Believe essay. So that's two. Uh, Jason's, Jason Howard's uh, Touching the Divine, Penn Jillette, There Is No God. The third one is any essay of your choice, except whether you go through the browse by category or look up by name, it just can't be the first one on the list. Put in a little effort, browse through, find one that just appeals to you. Uh, it can appeal to you because of the title or the person's picture or randomly selected. I don't care as long as it's not the first one. Put a little effort in. Um, and I want you to be prepared on Monday uh, to share out with your peers, and hopefully with me, uh, but to share out what it is you've learned from the This I Believe essays. I don't need you to prepare a lot of notes. If you're the kind of person who can't remember things without writing it down, feel free to jot some things down or, or make some notes in, in your, your laptop, whatever. Uh, you know, write them on an index card, scroll them on the back of your hand. I, I don't care. They're your notes, not mine. Um, but I do want you to be able to say, here's what I took from this. I liked or didn't like or I understood, didn't understand. I, I felt threatened or challenged. Just some kind of legitimate personal response to the material in the three essays. That's it for me for today. Uh, you will have another video assignment tomorrow. Um, but as they said, gone with the wind. If God is my witness, I'll never go hungry again. No, uh, tomorrow is another day. That's the right quote. Tomorrow is another day and I will see you then. What do you know? Not much. You? 
So this is the workbook, green eggs and ham. I prefer the hardback, but they do have uh, paperback copies now. Um, it's available in English, Spanish, uh, American Sign Language, and about well, 120 other languages. I would prefer the English text just so we're all looking at the same words. Um, but this is the text. And it's Plato and a platypus walk into a bar understanding philosophy through jokes. Uh, Thomas Cathcart and Daniel Klein. And it wasn't until I put this video together for y'all that I realized I have chosen entirely unconnected two books with bright orange covers uh, to kick off our study of theory of knowledge. Hmm, weird. I look forward to seeing you guys virtually or physically tomorrow. And a little catchphrase, I believe that rituals are important. And one of the ones, when I start every class, I'm going to ask you guys, what do you know? And I would like you to respond, not much. You, have a great day.